right, so when we got our Dometic CFF 35 refrigerator freezer, I was kind of concerned about how much I might be able to fit in it, especially when we were getting ready to go away for 30 days. I wanted to buy as much food as possible and bring it with us. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how much will fit in this refrigerator or freezer, however you want to use it. So I'm about to show you exactly what we brought so that you can get an idea of how much food you're going to be able to bring in it. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. And there are two different sides. Uh, this one is very shallow and I'll start with this. You can't easily fit a ice cube, a normal ice cube tray in there. Obviously you can, but it just pinches a little bit. So I got this one. This is from the dollar store. It just fits in a little easier. And on top of that, I had all of these foil packets. We have eaten some stuff along the way, so I'll tell you what I've taken out. I wrapped up some frozen meals and I had a total of six of these and those were all over on that side so we have eaten a few so far we like to put that in our portable oven and i'll link to that in the description below in um, a video that we have it works really great so over here i'll just take out everything we brought some ice cream sandwiches for treats uh, i think we have a total of four of those i have some of these breakfast these are actually jimmy dean ham and cheese croissant sandwiches I did bring a total of four of those. Um, got some hot dogs. Let's see. Got some ranch steak. Now, a lot of the stuff that you're going to be seeing is going to come from Butcher Box. And this isn't a Butcher Box commercial, but we just really love the stuff. It's so good that we want to bring it. So, these are some pork ribs, which are going to be easy. I think these actually um, can be cooked on the grill or however. So, we brought those uh we got some of this beef this is actually great this is already pre-cooked and seasoned this is great for boondocking because all we have to do is defrost it and we could eat it or we could actually heat it up as well so that is in there let's see got some strip loin steaks Those are the other ice cream sandwiches that I talked about for a total of four. Oh, actually, I had more of these than I thought, so that's actually number five of that. Now, we do have some bratwurst. We actually had some last night, so the grand total for the amount that we brought of these are two packages. I actually have some um, pulled pork. So this, again, is something that doesn't have to be really heated. It's fully cooked already. Great for boondocking when we don't have any power. Just want something easy to make. Got some hot dogs. Again, we just love the butcher box because it just tastes really good. <laughs> um, so that, and we just really wanted to bring it um, because it does taste so good. So another pulled pork. But this is just giving you an idea of how much food that you can actually bring. These are what Bavette steaks. So we got some of those in there. Ooh, that's cold. All right. Down here we have more ranch steaks. So we had those in there. And then we have a grand total of these are six pounds of ground beef, but we already had one. So that would be seven pounds of ground beef and they are packaged in one pound sections. You can see that the, the ice crystals, I mean, this stuff is like frozen, really frozen. We have it set to, um, I think three degrees. So let me just jump in here and say that while this ice cube tray has been nice because it easily fits when I put water in it and it's not sloshing around when I put it in, we did go ahead and get one of these from Walmart that is a bigger ice cube and that easily fits in there as well. So we went ahead and put that in after we had taken all the food out. Kind of really appreciate that one much better. So yeah, so that is everything. Plus we had a um, thing of meatballs, a tray of meatballs. So we've had that as well. So that is a lot of food that you can bring with you in one of these Dometic CFF 35s. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised about how much you could put in there, especially if you did freezer meals and put them in Ziploc bags and you put them inside um, and laid them flat. That would be quite a lot of food. 
So yeah, if you have one of these, let us know. Do you use it as a refrigerator or a freezer? Are you happy with how much food you can put in it or you wish there was more storage? Take care everybody, bye.